What is a law? Basically, a law was created and designed to keep someone from becoming a victim in the sense of personal injury, death, property damage, theft, uh, slander, incapacitation uh, from unjust means or evil acts, and, uh, f you know, based on other people's selfish habits and personal gain. So a law was basically created to prevent a victim from happening. Um, a lot of things that are considered laws that fall under the category of statutes, okay, actually incapacitate people and create victims based on things like uh, f economic discrimination, uh, lack of adequate services and venues and efficient means to navigate oneself through the legal system for when these things happen. And, um, you know, basically, administrative crimes fall into the, under the categories of, of criminal acts that are under the guise and color of law, you know, which are pressed upon American people and families by citizens on patrol and law enforcement officers. Now, to say that someone has uh, an invalid driver's license or registration or title um, and, and, and punishing them for that by threatening them with, you know, further consequences and court costs and, you know, or even jail, that's breaking a law because it's creating a victim and terrorizing American families and incapacitating them and putting them in desperate situations and causing them to have undue stress and unnecessary stress and loss of livelihood and spirit and confidence and, and mental capacity to, you know, deal with life situations. So anything that creates a victim is against a law and it's not a law, you know, it, it's, it's basically a form of oppression and tyranny. And, you know, unfortunately, like I said, a lot of cops and law enforcement officers and, uh, state attorneys, you know, they, they monopolize our constitution and, and, you know, the rights thereof and they put them against us by protecting themselves, and somehow they claim uh, jurisdiction and authority over us. And the only way that is possible is through contract, contractual circumstances, such as a driver's license. And, you know, you can be for a driver's license, but at the cost of waiving your rights civil and constitutional rights and the right to a fair contract, which is described in the Constitution, you know, it's really crappy. And it's how they prey on the American people and have caused so many years and decades of oppression and, you know, victimized people by robbing them of their dreams and livelihood. And, you know, it's not fair that, you know, a family person that has circumstances and they didn't meet a financial criteria, you know, they don't have a a renewed piece of plastic license and they should fear, feel scared and stressed out that they're going to get pulled over and thrown to jail. And if they're emotional about it, you know, they're going to get placed in cuffs, put in, you know, portrayed as a threat and have the crap beat out of them, you know, and then it could be years of legal repercussions, you know, that are unfair, you know, with malicious prosecutions and stuff like that. So, you know, a law is made to prevent a victim. And a, a lot of statutes that fall under the color of law create victims. And, you know, no one is doing anything about it. And they just say, oh, there's a police officer. You better listen to them. I mean, police officers are people too. And they're just following a policy. And everybody knows that if you are protected and backed by millions of dollars worth of, you know, associated lawyers, then you're screwed. So... They're not following and they're not enforcing the law. They're enforcing oppression and tyranny 
over the American people. And, and this has to stop. Okay? It's crazy. But yeah, a law is made to prevent victims, not create them. So let's keep ourselves in check here and keep on fighting, you know, for a better, more fair America and circumstance on behalf of its people. And, you know, so what if law enforcement officers and county clerks and courthouse personnel and lawyers lose their job? We've been losing our livelihood and our dreams and our trust and ability for the system for decades and more than that now. So, you know, the game is over. So stop breaking the law.